what happens to the parachutes at Duxford and Cambridge is what happens to every parachute in the country every few weeks. While the fabric has been aired, the rigging lines have been checked. It's part of a routine which adds up to safety in the air. On the devotion to duty of girls such as Lynn Thompson, the lives of many a pilot may depend each working day. Two of Lynn's chutes have already been used in emergency. Two pilots' mothers have this unknown girl to thank for the safety of their sons. It's in the folding of the yards of material that absolute precision and conscientiousness count for so much. Just a little carelessness and somewhere in those hidden folds there'd be a tangle which might cost a pilot his life. See how she keeps the foes in place. Simple air, just eight pounds of lead shot done up in bags. Routine testing of the small pilot chutes is 22-year-old Jean's responsibility. Attached to the apex of the main parachute, they are set to spring out into the slipstream as soon as the ripcord is pulled. And in less than a second, to pull out the whole 24-foot canopy behind them. Over to the rigging lines or shrouds, and here's where any danger of a tangle must be avoided at all costs. Watch how deftly the lengths of plated nylon cord are lodged beneath the straps, every inch secure but unhindered. Repacking takes from 20 to 30 minutes per parachute, and every second of that time is well spent. We've come a long way since Blanchard, the French aeronaut, used the first parachute, but then we've had long enough to learn. For, believe it or not, that first drop was made from a balloon 22 years before Waterloo. Well, there it goes. Safety born of experience. An aerial lifeboat neatly tucked into a pack. Seat packs didn't exist before the end of the First World War. Now they're part of every warplane standard equipment. If the chute fails to open, return it to the stores. Yes, I expect you've heard that joke. It's old enough by now to have grown whiskers. Maybe in years gone by there was a hint of irony behind it all. That the irony has disappeared is due in no small part to the skill and devotion of the trained parachute packers of the Women's Royal Air Force. Mutual confidence, that's the ticket. Safety precautions a pilot can rely on. He knows that should accident occur, he can take the airworthiness of their work for granted. They're the one branch of the service that will always let him down safely. <laughs>